Hey folks and welcome back. This is Anita and today as the title suggests we are going to take a look at the June 1st paycheck. So I have already went ahead and done the budget. So this is before we actually got paid um, as far as the amounts go. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in real quick that way for those of you watching via your phones can take a look not to mention it makes it a little bit easier to kind of talk to you guys so first off I kind of want to show you guys to um, the account balances that we have our checking has eighteen hundred twenty four dollars and fifty four cents and our savings ha still has the four thousand dollars and eighty eight cents I still have not contacted the bank. I do, based on the fact that we haven't received anything else, think that this 88 cents interest that we've received is done quarterly. Um, so that means we should get one either this month or next month. Um, probably next month to be honest, um, but we'll see. So as far as today goes, I will take you through the, what I budgeted and then I will go through and actually give you our full amounts and what I plan on putting into each category. Um, so based on some estimated hours, um, I figured my husband is going to earn six twenty six sixty two. Now two twenty six sixty two, which is what I have wrote down here. Um, my husband and I both get that amount. It's a, a paycheck protection plan or something like that. Um, I, all I remember is it says PPP on our checks. So, um, it's just something that, um, we are getting just to earn a little bit of income that will be stopping here soon, probably at the end of the month. Cause I think it was only eight weeks worth. Um, so at the end of the month, I really have to get a job or at least have something signed up for it. So of course, 400 so 400 more, that's kind of what my husband kind of earned. Technically, he earned 405. So, um, let's go ahead and just write that in. So he earned 405 plus the 226 makes it 631.62. I'm just going to write that now and um, finish this part up later. So between the two of those, it says 853.24. Now I do have this rollover amount up here, and that's so that I know when I actually do this part of it, how much is gonna actually gonna be coming from the bank itself and taken out of the bank to be able to pay for everything. Now I debated on whether I was going to do sinking funds or not, and I decided I'm going to go ahead and do it, and I'm breaking stuff up paycheck to paycheck. So this first paycheck is probably going to be the one that takes out the most money in our rollover. Other than that, it, we should be able to sustain it either next paycheck or the one after that. So um, rent is due, which is $6.50 a month. Our auto insurance, which is 8066. First Premier Platinum is 65. Stars is 107. MMU, which is our electricity, water, sewage, garbage, and um, Wi Fi, our internet. HP Inc. Now I put 1085, and this is because this is the first time that I've had it at the 990. $9.99 rate, which I've been doing a little bit more research on our tax rate. So 1.08225. So it says 1081. So, but I'm going to go ahead and put 1085. If anything, I'm budgeting higher. 
and we'll have money left in the bank to kind of cover it. Um, STJ is my husband's straight talk. That's 4806. Now this will be the first month he goes down to the same plan as me because I changed it so that we're not paying for that extra hotspot um, plan that we no longer need. So in total, that comes to $1,065.99. Now here, based off of just these numbers, we are already negative. So I already know that I'm gonna have, we're gonna have to take money out of the checking to cover all of our bills this paycheck. Um, so then it comes down to our cash envelopes, which are food, date night, medical, household and then me so my allowance um and this is where it was kind of one of those things where well should we start them now or wait and I was like you know what let's just start them now they're small amounts we'll get through it um originally I had budgeted we had actually changed our monthly budget from 115 groceries to 120 um, so I didn't write out the 120 on here because, or even 30 or $40 because that extra money, my husband drinks, um, isogenics, so he fasts and he only eats once a day. And, um, sometimes all he has is the shake or he'll have the shake, but he'll add, um, lots of fruits and veggies to it and he only and it's every only every once in a while it's kind of whenever he's not feeling good or his stomach's upset um, that he'll kind of have that and so um, we are getting down on some of our products and so we wanted to go ahead and order some products now, I went ahead and just took that 120 budget out of there because I already ordered those items. It was like $96, so technically we would have $24 left over for food. But I'm not going to worry about that. That's going to go back. Basically, it's going to stay in our checking account to cover all these other expenses. Um, and that's all really that extra money was going to be for. And that was where, uh, excuse me, um, I just totally lost my train of thought there. That 120 was going to go for that order, basically. So we now we've broken down everything um, into four. So for a, for each one of our cash envelopes and our stinking funds, we have already went ahead and kind of come out with um, a basic plan as far as how much we want in them each month. Um, so, sorry guys, for some reason I am just like yawning today. Um, I have my cup of green tea here. So, you might hear me sip on that every once in a while, and I do apologize. It's it's really warm outside, and so it does get a little, uh, my mouth gets a little dry from it. Anyways, date night, we decided to break it down into $15 a paycheck. Medical is 40 Household is 5 For my allowance, it's 25 Now, to be totally honest, guys... I already recorded this video, but I went to go edit it and I accidentally deleted it. So I'm just starting fresh with you guys to walk you through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my monthly, um, my rough draft that I had and kind of just show you. So we had the 120 eating out is the same thing as date night. So $60 and then it's just broken up into 15 health is the same thing as medical um it's 160 which is 
$50 for each of us to pay towards collections a month, and then the other $60 is to pay for my medications. Um, household is $20 a month, which is $5, and then my allowance is said is $100, so it's $25 a week. Um, then we go up to renters. Actually, let me go ahead and just make sure here. So if you add up 15, 45, and 25, it brings it out to $85, which now the 212 plus 85 makes it 297.75. All right. Um, renters insurance. So renters insurance I have for $21. So, with that being said, it breaks it down. I broke it down into six dollars. However, um, that's on a normal month. For this month, because renter's insurance is due next week, I'm breaking it down to ten dollars this week. Liberty Utilities is roughly forty-five dollars. So that breaks it down to about $12 a week. Big lots. Technically, it's a $35 minimum payment, but we are trying to pay $110 on it every month because we do have a promo balance. And so in order to pay that promo balance off without earning any interest, um, we are paying $110. And because it's due next week, we are paying $55 this week, $55 next week. Capital One is a, it's $39, but I broke it down into $40. Um, and so that's $20 this week and $20 next week because it's due next week. First Premier isn't due until the 21st, but um, it is a $60 minimum this month and so we have three weeks to pay it so 20 this week 20 next week and 20 the following week um our jeep which is three um the minimum is like 305 but we're paying usually 310 or 320 towards it so with since we just paid it last week we have four full weeks to pay it to basically save the money up so that's eighty dollars a week Merrick is um, I rounded it up I think it's like a forty one dollar minimum I rounded it up to forty five um, and so this week I decided to just go ahead and put ten dollars in it one make it easy um, Naviant, Naviant, I had originally planned to pay $100, um, but we are going to put $40 um, towards it. So this week is $10. Now, here's the thing though. Um, I was just going to go ahead and make the $40 payment every month or a $50 payment, but I have decided that, and you'll hear me talk about this in my cash stuffing envelope because I'm redoing this of course after I've done my cash envelope stuffing um basically I have decided that I am going to put this money away and since I don't have or excuse me since my Navient is locked in at that zero percent interest no payment due until the end of September, we're going to just put this money aside and save it. And then what we're going to do is at when it actually comes due due, then I can either put just that whole lot down on it. Um, that way we have the payment or I'll save it and like kind of split it, but I'm saving it for now. So we have June, July, August, September. We have four months. So we'll see how things go. One main is I rounded it up to 165 because it's 160 and some change. Um, and so I'm paying $53 on it this 
this paycheck um, because it is due in the third week. So um, there's going to be, I think the last week it'll be like 54. I think this month I decided to do 53, 53, 54. And then after that, it's going to be basically like 55, 55, 55, and 41 basically is how it's going to do. Car Care 1 um, is 200, I, I budgeted 280 for it when I wrote this out, um, which left it with about $87 um, is what I budgeted. That has changed. I'll explain it when we get finished filling this out. Reflex, I had estimated $40, so that would be like a a 2020. Now it is due in next week, and um, it is really $35, and so I just split the difference. It's going to be 17 this week, and next week is 18. So. Um, yeah, I did some changes. So if you add every one of those up, it's 374, which, um, 374 plus 297 equals 67175. And then I just put $5 down to allow for any cushioning as far as, um, the bills up here, such as it was more for, these two bottom ones, the HB ink and the straight talk, just to make sure that they come out the right amount. So that means basically I am looking at $676.75 coming out as a rollover. So here is our actual numbers though. So like I had said, um, my husband got a total of six thirty one sixty two. I received because I did work Instacart. I received. I'm going to turn this sideways, guys, because it's a little bit easier to write. I received a total of two hundred and forty dollars and seventeen cents. Okay. So now, because I already know I want to do this and I know that we have the money in the bank to be able to do these amounts, I'm going to go ahead and fill these out. Now I may end up adjusting some of these numbers because that's what all a budget is. You first lay out what you think or est what you know or estimate your bills to be. Now, based on a paycheck, you may have to, if you don't have like how much we have in our checking already as a cushion or in your emergency fund, you may have to move bills around. So, but since we have this money, we're going to go ahead and just pay these bills and figure out what we actually are going to be taking out total in our rollover. So for the most part, these bills here, because we're trying to not take too much out of here, um, I am just going to put our regular monthly amounts here. Um, and again, I'm going to still keep this at the 1085 because I want to make sure that I have a couple of cents left over. All right. So, and I'm just going to do this on here so you guys can see. We have 650, 80.66, 65.107, 210.35. 1085 and 4806. So we've got $1,065.99. Now I am not going to write in this part here quite yet because I already know 
that I'm going to have to take rollover. So I'm going to wait. So for these envelopes here, we are going to actually do those amounts. So it's going to be the same thing over again. So 15 and 5 is 20 plus 40 is 60 plus 25 is 85. All right, now here comes the ones that are going to change a little bit, just a little bit. For renter's insurance, it is going to be the same. For Liberty Utilities, it is the same. For Big Lots, we are going to do $37. Now, that is because, like I said, next, wait a sec here. Okay, let me, let me see here. 37, okay. Now, the reason why I am doing 37 here is because when I had done this, I just wrote 55, 55 just to make it easy, but then as I was kind of redoing everything, I realized that isn't due until our third week. So basically what I was able to do is I was able to take the 110 divided by 3 which is 36.66. So I'm going to round that up to 37. Now, and that's going to be the thing, guys, is if any of these bills or these seeking funds basically end in an in with change like this, I'm always either going to round up or down for the week. So a dollar here or there isn't going to make much of a difference for me. As long as I know then I need to have like 320 in there or something like that. Um, Capital One. Um, I am lowering down to $18 versus 20 and that's just because the minimum payment actually went down. So when I had originally done these numbers, let me get the other paper out here. So when I had done these numbers here, I didn't have the full payments left over. And I had also um, uh, rounded up or down. Sorry, guys. I have things kind of like falling over here for some reason. All right. Anyways. <laughs> um, first premiere is getting 20 and the Jeep of course is going to get 80 Merrick is going to get 10 and that's because I just the Jeep and Merrick I just paid Navient is 10 because we're doing just ten dollars across the board if I have any extra money left over I will probably put it towards this um, we'll see one main is 53 capital uh, car care one is 87 and I'm just putting a line here because these are gonna go together I just don't have enough room and then reflex is 17 so now to add those up so you guys can see 10 so 10 12 37 18 um, we have 20, 80, so that's 100, 110, 120, 173, plus 87, plus 17. So it should be about $20 less. So it comes up to $354. So I just saved us being having to take out um, $20 less. However... <laughs> Here's the thing, I 
want to actually have more um, money left over, so to speak. So, and I want it more in the cushion. So what I'm going to do is we are going to actually put in $20. So that $20 that we were going to put into these here, I am going to put into our cushion. All right. So we have 20. I just, I forgot to write the five there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up each one and I will highlight these so that you guys can kind of see cause since I kind of have these a little weird. Um, all right. So I am going to add up this number, this number, this number, and this number. So, we've got 10, 65, 99, plus 85, plus the 354, plus 20. So that comes to 15, 24, 99. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this total amount up here, $15.24.99. Now I am going to minus these two numbers, so minus $631.62 minus $240.17. So now the $653.20 is what I am going to need to pull out of our checking basically to cover our bills. So and down now just to verify everything, you can go through 1524.99 minus the 1065.99 is gonna be 459. Yeah, 459. So we're gonna move this one down here, 459. And I'll just put my little zeros up here. Minus the 85, which is 374. So bring that back up here. Three seventy-four minus the three fifty-four, which we're just gonna do easy math here, which is twenty dollars. $20 minus the 20 so that brings us to zero and that's how you do a zero based budget now granted I did this a little different but this is because this is our first week doing this so we don't have a lot of these cash envelopes and whatnot already saved up um, and if you really look so 650 20 that's our rent. That's our rent and like literally a, like three of these, like $4. So, you know, to be honest, or, you know, that could even just be added to our cushion, you know? Um, so to be honest, all we're really technically covering with this cushion or excuse me, with this rollover is our rent. Sorry guys, I keep hitting this thing. Um, so from now on, hopefully, the money that we make up here will cover the rest of our bills. Um, especially since this here is our highest amount. It's going to always be in the beginning of the month. So, if you have any questions or comments, guys, please feel free to comment them below. This is the end of our video today. Again, this is a second take. I do have the original that I have already literally went and I already paid our rent. 
the auto already came out. I already paid our first Premier Platinum. And already paid MMU. Stars. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and... Uh, I believe Stars will come out today. Today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Alright, so Stars will come out on the 4th. And then HP should come out on the 6th. And Straight Talk for his will come out on the 7th. Um, and those are the ones that are automatics. The rest of these, oh, and then this one actually came out today. So today is the 3rd. So I do apologize for this photo, this video um, coming up, up late, guys. Um, I, like I said, I went to go edit it when I finally had some time. And I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> oh well. That's what camcorders are for. You know, recordings are for. We're going to learn. I just wanted to make sure I went through this with you from start to finish. Um, just to kind of show you how I am budgeting right now. And as you will see further on down the line, I won't have to do too much of the rollover anymore. Because that rollover is already going to be in these envelopes. Um, but yeah. Alright guys. I If you have any, again, if you have any questions or comments. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, go ahead and press that dislike button. At least I know, you know, what's going on. And if you didn't like it, or if you liked it. Tell me why. Anyways, enjoy the day, guys. Happy June. Bye-bye.